Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the process of building a successful sales funnel. There are different steps in building the funnel. Um, each step could require a whole video, if not a course or a module, in teaching you how to implement that. So today we're just going to go over the broad process of what you need to do to bring somebody from maybe getting to know you and then finally getting to trust you and then buy from you and that's what you do want to do with your clientele you want to get your name out there get people to know you give them content like you see that i'm doing here and then they start to um, get to know you better and then trust you and then say i'm going to buy from that person okay just like when you go to a car dealer you probably make a judgment when you meet somebody right away when you go to buy a car what are those things you're looking for and if you meet somebody that's trying to sell you a car and you don't trust them and you're like i don't even know this person and they're not really even warming up to me and helping me get to know them you're going to walk away um all sales are like that it's just psychological so in on the process online it just takes more time and it's done in a different way so let's go ahead one of the things I like to do when I'm building, going through that uh, sales funnel process, I want mine to be evergreen. I want systems put into place that are going to stay there and keep functioning after I walk away and go do something else. So that's what evergreen means. Not everybody functions that way, but that's my goal online. And it's easier to do that when you're online. Now, before we get into the video, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification button and every day you'll be alerted when a new video comes out all right let's move on the first thing you need to do is ask yourself what am i selling sometimes people want to go into business i remember when i went through this training um they were talking about funnels and and products and things like that i was going through the training i just knew i wanted a business online at that moment in my life and i didn't even know what i was going to sell um so it's really important before you can really start to grow <laughs> and have a funnel and and get out there and talk to people is have a product to sell so basically if you don't know what you want to sell sit down and think about that first before you really dig into anything else um some people when i say something to sell i mean what is that big thing what is that thing that you're leading people to now there are things that we call value ladders where you might sell something small and then work your way up a ladder and to bigger and bigger products. That's a whole nother training as well. So I want you to be thinking about a, one of your bigger products. Like what is that thing that I want to sell? What am I leading people to so that they buy it? Now, some things could be coaching. You might have a service that you're providing. It could be um, maybe you have a digital marketing course that you're leading them to or maybe you're starting to sell memberships for your Facebook group. Maybe it's a private group and people have to pay a monthly fee to be in there. Now, the, this product, this thing can cost a little bit of money, $47. It could cost a couple thousand dollars. If you're new, obviously that product or that thing that you're selling is going to be smaller in value because people need to know you and trust you better before they're gonna give you more money. So you gotta almost um, prove yourself worthy selling lower value items and then work their way up to higher value so that's just some ideas i don't know where you're at in your business but that's like i said we could talk about a value ladder um in another training um i will have a video on that obvi um, by the way um but today um let's say you're selling a membership to a private facebook group or a course let's go with course because that's more general uh, courses can run anywhere from 27 dollars up to five thousand right so let's say you have a mini course that you're selling or a course let's say for 297 dollars. that's what you're leading everybody to so we have this course now here's a an example of a funnel a funnel is you're actually bringing people into the top of the funnel you want to bring them in with traffic and you're going to lead them through your funnel and we're going to go through the three areas of that funnel to that product so this this um item down here the product that costs money that's your thing and like i said we're going to say it's a course so number one thing you need to do is have a social media platform that you're using to draw traffic and that's what starts piling people in and notice the funnel is thicker at the top that's where people are starting to come in what could be where could you get traffic my favorite place to get traffic is facebook i absolutely love facebook i 100 i did not start out with uh, 
what am I saying? Facebook. I did start out with Facebook. My number one is YouTube. I'm leaving that in there because nobody's perfect, right? You, you say you make a mistake and that's what this is all about. It's okay. My number one source of traffic is YouTube. I started out with Facebook and I really wasn't happy with it. Um, I didn't like how I would put all these posts. I was killing myself putting all these posts into Facebook and then they just disappeared. Or I'd ask friends that I knew that were following me. Did you get, see that post? No, it didn't even show up. So I I love YouTube, not Facebook. Now, disclaimer here, there are people that are very, very successful with Facebook. You have to choose your favorite social media platform. And then my advice is to stick with it, get to be an expert at that one platform. So for me, I'm pulling my traffic in from YouTube. The reason I like YouTube is because people are going onto Google, they're asking questions, they're searching for things, and there's things that I can do to have my YouTube video rank on that first page. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But then people can click my YouTube video and say, oh, okay, I, I like that. I like what she, how she answered my question, how she solved my problem. I'm gonna stick around and watch more videos, and hopefully she can help me in more areas. And that's what happens. Whether it's with me or somebody else, you may have found somebody on Instagram that you like to follow. But the point is, people pile into your funnel, and that's your traffic coming in from your social media platform because we're doing this all online. After that, you want to have a lead generation strategy in place. We've talked about this before in other videos. In fact, I have a whole playlist that I'm going to put at the end of the video. So make sure you check that out. It's email marketing. Lead generation strategy. I need to have something in place, a system in place where I take my traffic and then I offer them something for free so that they'll click that button and in exchange for that item, they're going to give me their email address. And that's where you have an email system in place. Why do we need this? Because in that email system is when I can continue to talk to people who are interested. Yes, I'm still up here. I'm still making YouTube videos to a cold market. Some people may watch one video and never come back. And that's okay. If I help them solve a problem or answer a question, I've done my job, right? But if they want more, they're going to click a button and um, be part of my email marketing newsletter because they want more information. They, they, want more, um, uh, they want more of a relationship. They want to get to know me better. Does that make sense? Now, many times in offering something to get people to go onto your email list, people have... Um, offered eBooks or they offer PDFs that with some information. And I'm finding that a lot of time people aren't really responding to that as well, because those are, there's a million of them out there. Actually, you could just search, um, ask a question online and you might find a good blog article, which is very comparable to maybe a PDF that I've produced. So you want to be a little bit more creative and maybe offer a webinar. You could say, hey, sign up for my webinar. It's going to be playing live on Thursday night or watch the replay. You could do either. And people will come in and usually in that webinar, you will have three or four really good golden nuggets that will help people with their business. Sure. In that webinar, you might be selling something at the end, but for people to get into the webinar, they have to give you their email address. So your goal isn't always just to sell that product that you're trying to sell that course or whatever at the end. Your more, um, your goal is really to get their email address so that you can keep on building a relationship. Um, other things that you can do. You might say, um, hey, would you like to join my Facebook group for a five day challenge? Or maybe that challenge is done through the email marketing but they still have to give you their email address to be able to participate. Another effective way for lead generation strategy is maybe a mini course, maybe a course that has four little short videos that people can watch. You don't want to make it overwhelming. You could give away a thousand dollar huge course, but I guarantee that most people won't watch it. Remember, they're thinking free right now. They're not thinking, um, I'm going to spend money for this. So you're giving something free, so don't make it cumbersome for you. So maybe just um, little tidbits of your bigger course. And so they can get a taste of what your training looks like. And it's free. You got their email address. And the last one is maybe a checklist. I love checklists. Um, sometimes when you get ready to do something, 
like, okay, setting up YouTube. I have a checklist that I offer. These are the things that you want to check to make before you launch your YouTube channel. I've got a checklist that I go over and people can, okay, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. And then I've got videos to match the steps. Um, if you're building a sales funnel, let's say in click funnels, there are so many different things you need to do. I've got a checklist for that to offer to people. Like these are all the things you want to make sure you've done as you've built your funnel so to, to, to grab those email um, addresses from people. So checklists are very, very um, effective. So now we have our traffic coming in. We have our lead generation strategy in place. What happens next? And you're like, what is a heart? This is where people, you start um, building a relationship. This is where they really get to know, like, and trust you. They might be getting to know you as they go through the funnel, but right here is where some of the, the genuine liking happens and you're building a relationship and you're warming up a cold audience and they get to know you through your emails that you're sending or through newsletters, however, whatever you want to call it. Um, some people send one out once a week. I like to, in the beginning, send out three a week. And then I, after they go through a certain amount of automated emails, then I go to once a week. Um, sometimes I go in and I might send something very current and in, in my life so that it doesn't feel like they're in something that's been automated, if that makes sense. But it helps people to warm up and get to know me better and get to know about my product. And then eventually a small percentage of them will buy. Now I say small because remember up here, you could have 2000 people coming in. Um, the next step, maybe out of that 2000, only 500 of them are willing to give you their email address. And then out of that 500, maybe only 60 of them buy your product. So it's a numbers thing, and that's why it looks like a funnel. Um, more people come in at the top and then they funnel down. And again, that's just the way it happens for everybody. Um, percentages, it depends on what you're offering, and this is where you start looking at analytics and things like that. But in general, this is the process of a sales funnel and to be successful you do you do want to watch your numbers and you do want to look at the analytics of it and and you know maybe you're getting thousands of people coming in but right here in the lead generation strategy a lot of people aren't clicking in or opting in for your product and that's when you might say well maybe i need to offer something different maybe i could send a survey out to everybody who is in my traffic so on my youtube channel i could send out a survey and say what's your favorite lead generation product what it, what do you what makes you click you know and give your email address away and people will answer that i could have a selection of six things and see what that survey brings in and then i could tweak it so you always want to pay attention to your funnel and make it better and better and that's why it's cool because um, it, it stays there it's evergreen but you can always go in and tweak the different components of it and then of course you have your product at the bottom i hope that was helpful um it, like i said it just gives you a general overview of how a funnel works there's a lot more detail into the parts but for those of you that are new and you had no idea what people are talking about hopefully that was a good explanation let me know below if it was if not i could scratch the video and do it again um and don't don't forget to subscribe um, my promise to you is to provide you with videos that are going to help you build your affiliate marketing business and especially using YouTube I've got a playlist on YouTube for beginners that I will put right up here and then my email marketing uh, playlist as well is right up there for you to look at if that's something that you're interested in and thank you I want to thank you for coming thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video